Remember the change in my voice. Step one, this chick in her own way, whatever race she is, says, you ain't shit to me. Remember that. That's how this video is going to start. Now let's go over here. What is life's test? I only have so much time. Here's this guy's name, Seth Godin. Right? You can't make this up. God in, God in, or whatever his name is. Look how he looks. Looks like Bezos, right? Well, I put Bezos over here for you to see it. Corporate sabotage. Of who? How? Well, one way is pharmakeia. What from the word where we it's a root word for pharmaceutical. And it means the use of administrating administering of drug, poisoning, sorcery, magical arts, often found in connection with idolatry and fostered by so the Bible study tools. I couldn't click on it because I get hacked through these websites, Bible sites. As Christ. We'll get into that. Now, first of all, there are boot licking. Set worshiping, right? Sickle. Sickle cell, right? Sickle. Sick L, right? In hand. The sickle, right? The reaper, the grim reaper, father of time, Cronus, Saturn, the father of Zeus. See the kid there, the harvest. Rape, rope, ripe. Running out of time. If you have any questions, please ask me because there are people who do keep up with things, these things that I say because they've been watching my videos for a while. Okay? So notice he's holding the, the, the time. There's sand, right? De set, excuse me, set a deity of the desert. Backwards is T's. Play on words for hits. A deity of rape, storms, da 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 da. Okay? Now there are idiots who say, but but Horus isn't a, a war god. Horus is not a deity of martial arts. If Horus is not a deity of martial arts, how come this guy's depicted as strong? This guy has a spear in his hand, okay? This guy has. Um, uh, like a Kopesh, uh, I forgot the name, I think that might even be the name, the Kosher's Blade. This guy has a different sort of spear in his hand, like kind of fisherman spear, and, and there's holding it at different angles. And I always say angels work angles, and he's depicted with wings. No connection to Christ, no connection to angels. Why the sun disc? Okay? Here's the Narmer palette. Someone who's shaped very similar to me, okay? And he's striking down somebody who's shaped like that, and, and who that is, right? It resembles Pan, and Pan, his name means all, and he's very much connected to Set, and that's a story for another day, the goat deity, connected to this deity, whose head is a jackal, but it's similar to a goat. And there's a long story about how the, the jackal, the dog, the goat, uh, and, and the hippo, and the snake, and the deer, how they're all connected to Set, okay? So follow me so far. Again, here's the, here's the picture where you see Jesus, you know, the fake Jesus, right? He's like a, a Jewish nerd or something in that depiction. And here he resembles this guy. It looks like a Jewish nerd or something. No disrespect to anybody. Just explain it quickly. Okay. Here's where it gets a little bit complicated. I'm going to explain it twice. Bear with me. Christian martyr. Okay. Martyr from Mars and Tyr. That's where we get the word. Okay. Tyr is a deity in Norse mythology who... From my understanding, it's been a while since I reviewed it. You know, you can put it in, your co in the comments if I if I make a mistake here. Um, he dies for what he believes, right? And Odin uh, is said to replace him as the head of Norse mythology, of the head of the gods. Okay, and of course Norse uh, in this I forgot the name. It's like um, when things come to a head, he gets killed at the at, in their in their wars. You know, there's no there's Odin and Thor and Freya and so on and so forth. Okay. So Mars is also derived from, excuse me, martial arts is also derived from Mars. So martyr is derived from Mars and Tyr, and martial arts is derived from Mars. means the arts of Mars. And here's a depiction of a martyr, okay, of, of how they depicted it, right? The first Christian martyr, Saint Stephen, painted by Giacomo Cave Dunn. Cave Dunn, right? Hmm. Whatever reason, that's his name, supposedly at least. And notice how he resembles the statue of none other than Mars. Look at that resemblance. Not a coincidence. Okay. Now here we have Aphrodite and Ares. A-R-E-S. Whose name is a play on words for Eros. He looks like a young Ares, right? He shoots arrows. And this guy's a deity of war arts. Okay. Um, Western martial arts, Roman martial arts, where, where we get the term martial arts. So again, martyr from Mars and Tyr. Ares. The Greek equivalent of Mars from Ares and Eros. Ares, A-E-R-I-S, is a deity of discord in Greco-Roman mythology. Um, like Set, discord, storms, right? It's very similar to Set. And Ari, E-R-I, it's also S actually, is the Ebo son of God's soul. The Ebo son of God's core, you know, the father. That the true son of God, 
Horus or Aries H, a play on words for Aries H, Har O Aries. Har is another name for Horus. Har O Aries is said to be an early form of Horus or the first form of Horus. Air O Aries. Okay? So the Air Alpha. Okay? Or Shu, who's another deity, but Shu is not the same as Horus. Okay? This is, that is the Greek word they use. And, you know, the simple answer is they're referring to Airy from Igbo mythology. Uh, the the Afrocentric movement often defined him as a, a sar, I say Haru, okay, and it's a play on words for Heru too, Her you and Her you, so they 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 take the Pan stance, Pan meaning all all the Greco Roman deities, and they say no no it's we're all kings like uh, kind of like reggae guys, you know everyone's a young king and a young queen, but they're wrong. I alone am the king of kings, okay. I alone am the top martial artist. You think everyone's equal to the king of kings when Horus is a god of war? Depicted as striking down Set. Now, think about this. Set, okay, is a deity of foreigners, full rain ears. They listen to the, the, to the foe of Horus. Okay, storms, rape, foreigners. Okay, discord, principles of evil, Set. See, in this depiction, and it's, it's a false depiction of Horus because you can tell by the, is figure it out, right? Statue and state of mind, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Are these forms the optimum form of a martial artist? No. Okay, this is like, it's like a, it's like a Greco-Roman form. That's why Horus is a, is, a, is, a, is a Greek word that they're using for an African idea. This is 3200 BC. This is probably maybe 1000 BC, if that, if that's even a real depiction. Okay, and these are statues that came more recently, right? And this statue is more recent. This statue, this depiction is more recent right here, okay? And this statue, I believe, is more recent as well, okay? It's things you can buy on the internet. All right. Pretty straightforward, okay? And, of course, they talk about the eye of Horus. Now, they changed my picture, try to make it look clownish or something. But if you look carefully, you can still kind of see that intensity. And they try to do things to try to make it seem evil, like the Sith or something. Sith and Set, because they're white racists talking about angry red savages. Our gay depictions are the truth, but they're angry red savages. Now, since they've tried to play me out there, I'm going to have to explore this a little bit more to make it clear to the oppressor that it's a dumb idea, that I reinforce it in my own mind, if for nothing else. Archangel Lucifer by some some occult person and look at how it looks like a female. It's actually a gender neutral. Look carefully. Okay, it's a gender neutral depiction of Lucifer. Here's the Archangel Michael looking nearly identical to that depiction. Same fairy energy. If this guy's evil and this guy's good, how come they look nearly identical? Okay, rainbow fairy fake. Fake and fairy are connected. And here we have uh, uh, Prince William looking similar as his uh, wife Kate Middleton. And of course, they look similar to these kind of um, British looking uh, suit models, okay? And that is textbook, Lucifer, a deity of pride, evil, a form of Satan, okay? Textbook, false pride, okay? Pretty straightforward. I urge you to review this video several times and keep in mind why the evidence is overwhelming that I am the son of God. There's even a, a movie called Undisputed about somebody who's not famous, who's the undisputed champion of the boxing world, where I'm the undisputed universal champion of martial arts with the most respectable challenge ever. Pretty straightforward.